Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about how to append baby color to our text by gradients in Swift. So uh, we will extend uh, UI label uh, with new function that uh, receive uh, an array of colors and then create a gradient uh, label colors and then we set that color to our text so yeah let's start our project so first of all we go to Xcode and here file new project uh, as usual single view app and iOS Swift and we name it text grab and colors and I uh, put it in final iOS yes it exists replace it for me and yeah here I have brand new so I go to main storyboard here I go for label so I make one label here you know, as big as I can And uh, I, for example, type in the text color Okay, I make this bigger, then I align it center, and also I s okay, uh, I'm gonna make some copy of that, so command C. Command V and Command V, so I see I saw this ones here. Okay, then I say okay, all of this I want to be fixed uh, wide and high. This one fixed wide width and height, and this one width and height. Okay, then I also select all of this. I say align them for me horizontally. Okay, and uh, the only things that I can click in here and say add missing constraints. So then it's gonna add you know some constraint for a vertical uh, situation. Okay, and. Uh, Let's uh, okay now. Uh, I'm gonna call uh, assistant editor and uh, let's close this one. I'm gonna connect these to my view controller. So I say label v1. This one. And some room. This one. Label v2. And this one, label view 3. So I'm done. I'm gonna close this assistant editor. I'll go to view controller and uh, here I'll make it ready. And I'm gonna remove this, do some cleanup. Okay, so we are ready. Uh, we just need uh, one extension for UI label so I create a new file here and here I create a Swift file uh, extension it doesn't matter which name you give it I uh, just give it extensions uh, for my project so here is a UI kit and on here I say extension UI label Okay, so here now we need a function uh, to save time. I have it ready here, so I uh, bring that one here. We just review it together, so you will see that. So in UI level, I make one puppet function by the name of puppet uh, gradient text color, uh, which receive an array of UI colors. Also, already there is a uh, one. Uh, 
there is a one default array with two value uh, with two different alpha of uh, color and then I find size of my label and then I start to get uh, colors actually here I convert that colors because input uh, color for gradient is uh, CG color so I need to convert them so I convert all of them to another array and then I give that array to as an input to my uh, gradients uh, and then also we need to say okay what uh, uh, you know what direction you want so I say uh, horizontal I start from zero to size of it and uh, that's it uh, we just create an image from this and we will set you know that image to our self that text color means that our UI label text color gonna be this image uh, we will use this uh, trick to also uh, set colors with pictures and really two triviaals. Okay, so now our job is pretty easy. You, you just come here and we just need to call our label view and then call our function. And here we will get an array. So this array would be what? So uh, you know, here I use some uh, UI. So UI color, for example, red. Again, UI color, for example, brown. Then UI color, this one, yellow, and Okay, so, okay, uh, so uh, this is, uh, for example, one of them. For other two label, I use uh, you know something else. So I say update. And uh, so this one, UI color dot blue to UI color dot green. So I just use two color and uh, even uh, uh, let me make sure this should this one too. And here I say okay, update uh, this one. You know, now I want to use uh, some pretty fun signature, uh, for example, I use this one. So I want to make some black and white, so you know, white CG flow, uh, I say zero. And uh, alpha, I say, for example, zero, five. Okay, and uh, also I add another UI color from same. Doesn't matter, you know, uh, just uh, for example, white and say again zero, but this one alpha gonna be nine. Okay, so let's save this and uh, run. Project so easy. Just we make the uh, one function uh, uh, in UI label uh, as an extension, and then we call that one. And uh, right now, here you go. You will see you know, this one has two, four different color. This one has only two color, and this one also two color, black and white. That's it for today. I hope you like the video and uh, enjoy it. And if you like it, uh, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Any question in comment, please. And you will find source of this uh, project in comments as well. 
I wish there was for you and have a good time.